What is up, Total Excellence dudes? Thank you all for joining the live stream today, dudes. So for tonight, guys, I am coloring Cyrus from the Schlub that released this week, Wednesday, a new comic book day, guys. And in the chat, we got Creators Outlet, Hail Ichthus. <laughs> What's up, dude? How are you doing today, man? So I got like my reference, my color reference, so that way I know how to color Cyrus and all that good stuff. Uh, this art is done by Tyrell Cannon. Uh, if you don't know Tyrell Cannon, he was a guest of mine last year, I believe, on, uh, you know, we were talking about Beef Bros. And, you know, I'm pretty much happy that, you know, now that his work is being shown on local comic stores and all this stuff. But it, it's been a sad day. I, I'll tell you why it's been a sad day. Actually, it's been a sad week, to be honest with you, dudes. It's just been crazy. If you're a pro wrestling fan, you know exactly why it's it's a sad week. But I'll recap it here tonight. Just going to disappear and do my thing coloring in three, two, one, a poosh. All right, dude. So let me go on to Clip Studio really quick. And let me show you my color reference. So I pretty much censored this page here. Because it's basically a huge spoiler of this issue. So, like, once you get to this page, you'll be like, oh, okay. So that's why Ichthus has censored this piece. So, oh, yeah, but my gosh, man. I love Tyrell's uh, illustration of this character. It's just so much fun. Like, his character designs are just so much fun. Let me see here. I want to play around with the color scheme a bit. And how it was originally. It's kind of close. It's a little darker. As what's fun is that Tyra's art style, man, is like honestly, it's just like um, you can play around with his art with with a cell shaded look to it, which is pretty perfect. Um, pretty much like uh, what is it? And like the person that was coloring. For this series for the schlub like i was just i was already on board like i was i was already on board when tyrell was on this project but the mere fact that uh my favorite colorist um mike spicer like it's coloring over tyrell's art i'm like oh my gosh it's like this this book is gonna be really good if mike spicer is attached to this project man mike is another great Great colorist to follow. Okay, so his ear. Oh, so his, his thing is... I was so confused. Why is this... Oh, it's a rubble. That's what's covering. Okay. And then his is like... Let me use a color picker really quick. So his ear is covered. So let me go on ahead and find that color. Kind of has that lightish blue and i have like a template for me just to have it it's literally dedicated for cell shaded colors so like his stuff is perfect okay let me go in if you want to know a faster way to at least flatten stuff like just ooh, i might fix that later but just use a freaking Bucket tool, okay, guys. Or you can use uh, what else? You can also use a lasso tool, but it's just it's just a faster way to flat things. And I'm not here to make it perfect, you know. I'm just clicking things. Basically, his whole costume is looking like that. So. Got to remember to change smoke. I don't know what color to give the smoke, you know. But we're going to make it interesting. That's the whole point is just to make the art look interesting. Did I make sure that I put the time lapse? I believe so before we went live. Just in case, built-in time lapse. Perfect. Built-in time lapse in Clip Studio is just great. Super convenient. Boom. Okay. 
think his fist as well is his skin. Yes, it is. Perfect. But yeah, it was a fun comic to read, man. But um, yeah, for a sad week, like, dude, it's like, I, I just don't know, man. It's like, I want to, like, thank gosh, like, I didn't, like, um, go into, like, local comic shops, man, because I made some calls. If they have the schlub, you know, and, like, none of them ordered the schlub since, I, you know, I was honestly surprised. I'm like, oh, shoot. It's like, like they, did, they honestly did not order. They honestly did not order it. Like, I would understand if, you know, like, they're sold out since, you know, it's issue one of a series, you know. But the mere fact that I get, like, the same call that they say that, like, no, we don't have it is because they didn't order it. Like, it's like, gosh, dang, man, that's just pressing. It's like I have a better chance of ordering a comic in, um, in eBay than, you know, honestly – Getting from my local stores, the co comic book stores, I would say. So I was pretty bummed. So I pretty much uh, went to, and it was so impossible. Thank God that, you know, like I went to Image Comics website so I can get the freaking comic because I don't know, man. Amazon with either Kindle, Kindle or Comixology, like it's just impossible to freaking buy a PDF from them, man. But I went to the Image Comics um, link to even buy the schlub, so I at least get to read it and you know have a good idea and a fresh mind of like what the comic is about. <laughs> um, it's pretty funny. Like, uh, like I honestly enjoyed reading the comic. I honestly did not expect how it turned it turned out to be, but um. Yeah, man. I mean, that comic was great. And freaking Tyrell and his, like, paneling is, like, top tier, man. It's like, there's there's a few highlights on that comic I would totally point out. Uh, let me see here. What else? Okay, his gauntlet, his chest, which is basically, like, orange. it's kind of like an orange-yellow type of thing going on. Is it on there? Huh. Because it's not in the earlier draft. Or is it? No, it's not. Oh, my color is regardless. But, um, let me see here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll just take the smoke out here, right? So that way, like, I don't miss it. Take smoke here. Damn, dudes. I mean, it's, it's been a bum week for wrestling fans, man. Terry Funk passed away like a freaking hardcore legend. It's like he passed away, I believe it was Monday. And like the next day after that, literally the day after the announcement of Terry Funk's passing, then there was like a confirmation from uh, Triple H via Twitter saying that, you know, Winham, aka Bray Wyatt, passed away. And the, the dude was 36 years old. 36 years old. And, you know, he has a wife. He He's a father. I mean, it's, it's just honestly a tragedy and just so sad that you know this we just lost like like this guy man and he has so much potential man 
like he had such a great character and just anything that this company threw at him like he just made it his own and like he had so much creative you know he has creative control over this character that he himself created and just was rolling the ball because my gosh man he he is such a great a great great pro wrestler man it's just a damn shame that he's gone man it's like everyone was waiting for his return due to like you know some health issues he was having um you know i looked into it and he pretty much like had a heart attack that's pretty much why he passed away he had a heart attack and like his heart issues began when uh he caught covid and pretty much covid got him some like uh heart condition like he, it, it caused him having a heart condition and so pretty much uh yeah just, just pretty much just really really affected him Oh, just rest in, rest in peace with, with just two two legends, man. Honestly, I it's just it's just a damn shame, man. It's like I I just you know just stopped in prayers for his family that are just going through such a horrible tragic moment in their lives, man. It's just wow. Uh, sorry guys <laughs> sorry for you know letting you guys down and you know it's just been a just a crappy week man Let's see here I'll color his cape now. Did I put the music back on? I think I did not. Let me play some music so that way, like, you know, I'm not boring you guys. Actually, put it back up. Add it here. Perfect. And thank you, dudes that are watching. Whether you guys are watching, like, you know, either live or pre-recorded because I totally appreciate that dudes so we're gonna we're gonna try and you know not bum you guys out because that's not what you guys are here for you're here to watch me color and just talk about just cool topics that are happening right here there's just so much stuff that's going on um damn anything else that has happened this week I think the Blue Beetle came out this week, if I'm not wrong. Just correct me if I'm wrong, dudes, over in the chat. I believe it came out. And I believe... Yeah, I actually it did came out, because I remember Dan Mora posted the art for... You know, his art for uh, Blue Beetle. And I was... You know me, dudes. Like, if I see a black and white piece of art on Twitter from any, it doesn't even matter whether you're pro or not. If your art piece looks top tier, like pretty much here with Tyrell Cannon's character Cyrus from the Schlub, um, I'm gonna kindly uh, save that in my folder for some live streams like this. And, you know, properly credit the R's and everything like that. Because, you know, everyone has to pay respect for those that put in the time and effort. Because art is, I'm telling you guys, like, art takes time. Props. And um, I got to watch Tyrell, like, share, share and talk about the schlub. 
and I was watching his live streams about the schlub and like the pro like um, the process and the character design, like how he is, like how he became what he became now, which was the schlub. I, th I, th I see this. I think this is part of his cape because I see like this little wrap around going on here. So we're gonna do that. Call this. Oops. Make sure that I got the shadow here. But yeah, I totally recommend you do to watch Tyrell's uh, live streams, man. He does his live streams every Tuesday. Um, and, you know, he makes sure that he'll do his best to do it every Tuesday. You know, maybe he won't be able to do it maybe due to, to scheduling and stuff like that. Because, you know, now he has like an ongoing series of the schlub. So it's pretty rad, man. I had fun reading it. It's funny, funny comic, I'll say that much. And action-packed action with fantastic art by Tyrell Cannon himself. Cut some brown here. Freaking man, like... I might play around with this brown here. Bit. So funny, it, it doesn't re like. I don't know why Clip can't register the hair. I guess it's just so damn tight. It's all good. We're gonna change that. And you know what? I can actually. Now that I see maybe why uh, Mike Spicer maybe colored it the way he colored it. Now that I have a better idea what's what. I think I got a cool idea what to color. Oops. I'm getting a little bit more neater how I'm gonna color this piece now. I'm gonna be more technical with it. Then go to color this piece here. That's a belt. Okay, so it's basically the same color as this one here. But it looks like it's black. He has a So he basically has like this gladiator type of like costume going on. Hmm. Interesting. Let me actually go to Kindle right now. And the only way like I even knew like there's there's a few pages I could grab as a ref, but then there'll be spoiler territory, and I don't want to you know I don't want to I don't want you guys to get spoiled if you guys are interested in buying this book. It's just, again, it's a great book, and I can't wait for more. As far as uh, that I'm talking about this book, I know that Tyrell spoke in one of his um in his streams that. Uh, he's on issue six of drawing the schlub. Honestly, I don't know why. This Kindle's like having a hard time recognizing like 
you know, I've I bought this. Man, that's such a mess. There's so many great stuff. Yeah, he has his like gladiator type of costume, which is pretty dope. I'll say that much. It is so cool. But it seems like it's not drawn in. So now that I have a good idea of what's what, let's actually color it blue. Boom. Okay. Okay, cool. And I'll color his belt. At least this part. I you know the rest of it is basically like more like this in a way. So uh, what else? This is color this blue. This is pretty dope, man. I am digging this costume. Oh, what else? What else? Uh, let me color this here. Okay, cool. There's a poly tool. I'm not a big fan of the poly tool, but I want to be more strategic and like, you know, get the exact lines you want to grab. That, you know, you can't really get using the lasso tool, right? Just use a poly tool too. Get that. There's any loose ends that you might have missed. Then let's use the lasso tool really quick to just any little stuff that I went over the lines. Ooh, it's a good thing I caught that. That's his cape. Good thing I caught that. Cause honestly I didn't I honestly didn't see it. Get this really quick. Bam.
Okay, this is looking promising so far. If I do say so myself. This. And we got my pickles in the chat. Hello, hello. This is looking dope, man. Thank you, pickles. Thank you. How's everything, dude? I wonder if you're still going to do those pickle commissions, man, because they were fantastic, man. I had a good, good laugh. And I know that um, your pickle drawing was like a reference. Uh, what was it? It was, um, I know I had like a, like an Easter egg in Tyler's uh, early draft of, um, of chefs. There you go. And the pickle gator was, <laughs> was an Easter egg in his, uh, in his one shot. So yeah, man, I, I honestly, I think most of, most of the live streams I was, um, involved in was always that pickle gator commission that I, I, I <laughs> had fun, you know, just showing off, bro. Cause honestly, man, that was just. That was just a fun, fun time. Hey, you know, congrats on um, Vestry, man. Because, my gosh, man, you guys are on issue five, I believe, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. I know that you and, and Shabby have worked your butts off for this issue for such a long time. And you had such a great, great, like, uh, live stream with you, Shabby, and Kiwi. I had fun watching the Vestry Boys live streams. They were fun. Well, I hope you're doing great, man. And you got new series that are coming up as well, man, under your belt. that these colors are exact because once I see a darker darker shade that doesn't mean that it's the exact color that's something that I'm trying to make sure oh gosh no that's that's not the color I want oh it's not even that color either you know what the heck are you? Struggles of a colorist, man. You just gotta make sure those colors are consistent. Turn it off. All is well. I will probably do more pickle drawings. <laughs> Please do, man. Please do. I will love to see pickle versions of any character that you that you make. I don't care whether it's mainstream, indie, video games. They have to be pickled. They, they, they. I don't know pickles. You might have created a niche. A niche market because I'm 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 down. I'm down for it, man. I'm ready to throw my money. Maybe not a lot of people may agree of getting pickle versions of characters, but I, I'm down for it. I never seen a pickle hulk. Have you seen Pickle Hulk? He's already green, but how green can we color him to be to be a pickle? Yeah, we sent those off to backers. I missed those streams. Yeah, dude, congrats, man. Five freaking issues, dude. That 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 in itself is an applause right there, man. Are you guys gonna make another? Uh, how can I say? 
another issue of Vestry, or you guys are just going to make a new project now? I am interested in talking to you about more of it, just to make this, you know, more interactive. I think so far, I'm good with flatting. I think now is just figuring out what the heck to do with the smoke to make it more interesting. Um, let me look at my handy dandy color wheel here that I'm gonna cheat right now. I mean, there's brown, which is whatever, but I want to make something more interesting, you know? Let's put it. Eh, it's whatever. Okay, let's see this color here, which is more lighter yellow. What about this one looks interesting. And this color. I got to figure out what to color Cyrus's name in the backdrop. Okay. Oops, it's not what I wanted. We got this color here for the smoke, just to like give more, just complimentary. Oh, I missed coloring his arm over here. So I'm gonna do that real quick, dudes. Oopsies. Undo that real quick. Okay. Oops. Turn that off. Get the color. What's up, Chris? Hello. Hello, Chris. How are you doing, dude? Thanks for coming by the stream, dude. Okay, my pickle said uh, we are done for now, but we are planning on doing a new ash can to go with our trade paperback campaign. Ooh, okay, okay. That's exciting stuff, man. I like it. We also want to work on a different comic. Okay. Okay. I dig it, man. I'm excited for you guys. Can't wait for this new project that you guys will be working on. Till then, I'll be watching you guys grow and see what are the cool stuff that you guys are working on. the smoke that Cyrus is over here just taking second hand apparently um go. sweet all right I am having a fun over here I think it'll be done just flatting out just the simple stuff
pretty hyped, dudes. Not gonna lie. Again, the art is done by Tyrell Cannon. And I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Tyrell's work. Ever since like Beef Bros, I've got like all of his stuff. I got his um his art his art books, which is the size of an ash can, which I love. Um, I even got his um, uh, Inktober stuff. He got, one Inktober was Doom. And then the recent one, which was last year's Ashcan, was um, was Aliens. So it's, again, man, Tyrell is such a great artist, man. I'm just so happy that, you know, he's getting noticed for his work. I'm pretty digging this smoke just to make it, you know, something different instead of being this boring gray color. You know, you guys got, you just got to change it up to be less boring, you know. All right. Let me look at the reference I grab. Oh, so it's not it's not really anything different. So it's basically the same color. Oops. So let's do that. Turn this off so that way I get his skin tone right. Beautiful. That comic I want to make with Shab is a cosmic horror story with Sherlock Holmes and Alice in Wonderland. Wow, um, that's pretty trippy stuff, man. I and that is quite of a a mouthful of of a fusion mixing together. But who knows, man? Maybe you just made a good mix of like peanut butter and Nutella. You know, I don't know if you have like Nutella over there in the UK, but Tell you what, man, this is freaking delicious. We got Della Cake art in the house, listening while I work on stuff. Oh, okay, Della Cake, you're lurking. I don't mind that at all, Della Cake. Thanks for, thanks for joining the stream. And just hear my rambling, and hopefully that you know I don't distract you too much, because I tend to do that <laughs> when. I'm on. The, I'm in the same room with people. But yeah, dudes, thanks for joining in the stream. Let me see. What other stuff did I get from? You know what? It's not even digital. It's not even like um, physical stuff that I bought from Tyrell. I actually bought. <laughs> I actually bought his digital work too. He actually had, funny enough, he actually had a digital, um, uh, what is it, like a digital art book where a colorist can color over his work. And I literally have that. I think there's like maybe, I think I colored one, which was the Iron Giant. And my gosh, man, that one got attention at the YouTube Shorts. That one, I got a lot of positive, a lot of views out of that one. Um, there was another one too. I think I even got Deadpool. 
but I have yet to color that one. Oh, that's speaking of Deadpool. Speaking of Deadpool, I know that Rob Liefeld is going to release a new Deadpool uh, book. So I, I'm, a, I'm a Rob Liefeld fan, so I'm definitely going to pick that up. But yeah, dudes, I don't know if you've maybe, maybe Delicate overheard me, but dudes, it is such a sad day for me just trying to pick up this book. It's like, my gosh, man. It's like, it's a good thing I didn't drive to my local comic shops, but because, bro, I would be so, so disappointed, but pissed at the same time. I'm like, how? How do you not have this book? I think his shoulder is part of the cape now that I'm looking at this. Let me look at it. Yeah, it definitely is. Okay. See, it's a good thing that... This is why it's important to give color reference to your colorist, man. Because this is stuff that now I just caught. Damn. Oh, yeah. Now it looks legit. It looks legit, dudes. Got a nice over-the-shoulder. Okay. So he basically has like this... His spandex is basically like a gladiator type of look to him, which is pretty dope. That's something that I have not seen, you know, I haven't seen like that in, in a costume before. It looks like the cape is covering even his neck. Yeah, it looks like it. So let's go on ahead and do that. Shall we, dudes? Let's do that. So we're going to color this part blue. Let's color this one too. This looks promising. Oh yeah. I, I cannot wait to, to even go even more crazy. Um, okay. And his, his, this is like magenta. So since this is like more, like since you're seeing like Mostly that color. Okay, I already have this here. Uh, complimentary colors. Really, dude? Just brown? Gosh, it's lame. So honestly, it's not doing it, me any favors. What I'm trying to accomplish here. So we got this color. So we got, let's try this background here. Boom. All right. So there's some parts I need to color white, which is his eyes which we will fix right now. There you go. Oh, you know what? Let's color his eyebrows. This dude's eyebrows. Superhero brow. Beautiful. All right. Now we got to color Cyrus's name. Let's actually play around with it. Why don't we, right? I'm thinking like using the same colors as we used for his costume. Uh, try this color. My only concern 
That looks pretty good. My only concern... Okay, so I gotta, gotta close in this line work because it's becoming rebellious. Whenever there's loose, kind of close line art. So my only concern is when I'm coloring this color, uh, if I'm going to select it again and maybe change it, uh, it's going to get attached to... Okay, okay, not bad. I, I expected worse, but not too bad. I can deselect. Then change it to this one. Okay, actually this looks way better. So we're going to stick to that color because it pops. And you know, it's still on brand. And we'll stick to this color. Beautiful. Oh, hell yeah. This looks, ooh, I'm so excited. This looks great. And we're not even done, guys. We just did the boring part, which is just flatting. Thank you for your patience. Because flatting is not always a fun part of coloring, but it's part of the process. My pickle says, uh, Nutella is huge here. Oh, perfect. So you know exactly the amazing combination of the beautiful taste of peanut butter and Nutella. I mean, my gosh, man. is like, I, I don't know. It, it just was so fantastic. Just a great, great mix. But yeah, now that flatting is done, I am just excited for the next part, which is just doing shadows and... Yeah, just doing shadows and doing some highlights just to give this character more life. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we, guys? So I'll create another layer called Shadows. Shadows. And another layer. Highlights. Um, shadows. Let me double check real quick, dudes. Because I kind of don't want to... I always want to create variety. Let me grab the smoke really quick. Just to try and see if maybe we can have option number two in our arsenal. Because I always like to create variety. And actually create a layer called smoke. Call it smoke one. Okay. I'm just going to do this. The one. We'll actually call it smoke two. See this one? Oh my gosh, it looks so much better though. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I I I, I dig this. Okay. The only issue is it's blending too much with the background, which is basically the same thing. And it's boring. Honestly, it's boring if the background color is this. So, uh, we'll select another color, right? I'll call it BG2, which initials is background. Then... Do that, right? Let's just see how that one's gonna look. Oh yeah, that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My goodness gracious, guys. 
I'm honest, I honestly like the second. I honestly like the second one much better. If I'm honest with you, dudes. Man, this looks way better. See. Hmm. Yeah, no, option two. Option two is is the winner here, guys. So. Okay, what else do I need to fix? Uh, any little fixes? Yeah, some little technical stuff. Which we'll fix right now. Take this off. This. Put some locks on it so that way. Damn, this looks so much better, guys. I'm just so excited to do the next part. Let's do some shadows. Okay. Now that we got shadows going on, now we got like this whitish. So I'm thinking like maybe green. Let's see here. Oh yeah, this looks so much Oh my gosh, man I'm telling you, man I love cell shading colors Because it just Ooh, makes it so much better. Y'all have no idea. A clip. lock the flats layer too since I'm basically done with it. Let's go on ahead and do that. Cause you know I could copy freaking Mike Spitzer's color schemes but you know, then then it's not really authentically my take on my color schemes for this character. It's like I'm following the flats for it. Now is my time to show my knowledge on colors. Oh my gosh, this looks epic. Sorry, Delicate, if I'm <laughs> interrupting your your uh your work progress when you're working on your webcomic. Oh my gosh, man, I'm so excited. I'm like a freaking kid right now. You have no idea, dudes. Gosh, this is so awesome.
credit. What else? Boom, boom. Okay, then. Add shadows to his armor here. Oh, actually, it has the smoke has its own layer, so I'm not really worried. Like color, oh, okay. Actually, I have to worry now. Yeah, I, layer of it, it's over it. Let me be selected then. There we go. Oh yeah, this looks absolutely sick. Excuse me, dudes. Hmm. Okay. Let's try color over his hair, right? Grab a freaking marker, right? Just do that. Let's cover. Oh, my <laughs> bad. There you go. Now. Now we're cooking with gas. Kind of highlighting. That would be better, but really, I'm, eh, it's not what I expected to look. A little fixes here that I can make. Done. some shadows but this dude's gauntlet just pretty sick let's go and do that bam This is looking so sick, dudes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah, guys have no idea. Oh man, dude. I'm gonna freaking do some highlights after this, I'm done. Oh, what's else? Oh, I gotta delete that. Damn, okay. Let's do some little cleanup. And I notice I'm going over the lines. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so sick. Okay, um, what else? I'm gonna stop fanboying my own work. I'll try to be professional, but at this moment, I'm, I'm, I'm not promising you that, guys. No, you just gotta be excited. Okay. 
We'll just add some shadows here on this end here. And maybe we'll do it over here. Oh, we gotta add some shadows here. Okay, now his cape. Turn off the cape. I think I'm gonna do the same thing too, I mean. Oh, now I know what I can do. I can give it, his shadow for the cape will be purple. Yeah, there you go. It's simple stuff like that, guys. It's gonna make or break comic colors. Let's do that. Dig in this purple here. There you go. Looks a lot. I think it blends in. You know, I like this purple more. Kind of helps blend in what we're trying to achieve here. real quick so I get the exact oh, man this looks so good Oh, you know what I just realized, dudes? Actually, his cape covers his whole chest. Now that I looked at the cover of the schlub, that was a huge, um... Okay, it makes mo mo so much sense. Turn this off real quick. So, basically... Let me select the shadows. Basically, his whole cape covers his entire half of the body which is pretty cool so yeah I didn't really see a lot of superhero costumes all right cool so I'm delete the shadow here make it flat so 
now that we got the exact color, which means Just playing around with purples now. But I wonder if, if I use a clipping mask, right? Just see if we keep this the same. If I just use the clipping mask to at least like change the this ink work to, to the purple I'm using as shadows. Would it make it much better to be honest? Oh. Because it's kind of hard to really give attention to, so let's not do that. Yeah, this is so much easy to look at too. Since I gave it purple, it's much more easier to look at his cape in the transition. Neo star in the house, brilliant star that shines through the night. The steak dinner at the restaurant of righteousness. Riser man stands before you. 
What's up, Neo? Thanks for gracing us with your intros, as always, and they're always new ones, too. So I truly do appreciate it, man. Uh, let's see. Let's give some personality to Smoke. Let's give some shadows to the Smoke as well. The smoke to give more personality. Oh, that's funny. I missed this smoke. Yeah. Looks so flat. There you go. Got to give some curvature. I love the color scheme with this character, man. It's so perfect. So what's this I hear about the comic book schlub, huh? Speak to Rolf. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is the best Rolf impression I could give, but... Um, 
Yeah, so basically the schlep is, um, actually, let me read the synopsis over here from Image Comics. Google real quick. Schlub. Image Comics. Vanish artist writer Ryan Stegman and Superboy writer Kenny Porter team up with Beef artist Tyrell Cannon for a new action comedy series featuring colors by Mike Spicer and lettering designed by John J. Hill. Failing dentist Roger Delton <laughs> blames the world for his problems until he is body swapped with the world's greatest superhero. Can Roger save Earth and finally prove to his family he's not a loser? Or are we all doomed? <laughs> So yeah, that is basically the schlub. Oh man, I mean, you, you can't go any better than that. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to weave together new intros lately. <laughs> I bet, man. It's hard to think of new intros on the spot too. So I, I give you credit, buddy. Keep up the good work. But yeah, so that's the schlub for you guys. Um, and is exactly how it's described, like. It was a fun comedy, and yeah, man. Um, uh, how can I say? Yeah, Roger's pretty much of a loser. I, I, I was, was, yeah, yeah. There's no lighter, lighter way of saying it. But once you read the comic, you'll be like, eh. it seems like he's trying to do different I don't know you just got to read and find out for yourself but who knows maybe he is trying to be a, a new leaf with this body that he has taken So it's a pretty interesting um, turn event, I'll say that much. Actually, I like how I had that color before. Let me see the color. I kind of go for more like this color. Kind of dig it. Cyrus is a pretty cool looking character, man, I'll say that much. But yeah, dudes, I mean I can't I can't speak enough about this comic. It's fun. It's funny to read and if you guys are interested, I'll even like pop pop a few pages or two. I'll actually just even show you the pages. Because my gosh man, Tyrell's work is just magnifying oh hell yeah this this is looking badass
Sí. This is looking so awesome, dudes. Thank you for being part of this journey, man. I haven't even done highlights yet, and I'm just having so much fun. Hope you guys are having fun, too, just watching me do this. knows maybe I can just delete this I'll just select just maybe just little parts like this here can be shadows under his pet can be a shadow you know something like that something that's easy on the eyes but you have a good idea like okay like the original color scheme is blue
Uh, what else? I summoned a boxer to a fantasy world. <laughs> Where's that referenced, uh, Neo? It's pretty funny. Oops. some highlights to bring his gauntlets look more interesting okay so okay the that color There you go. That looks way better than the color I used before. Oh, actually, that's the shadow of his hand right here. Oh, actually, complete. Okay.
It's, the, uh, it's an old Isekai story I keep pitching to people when trying to summon a hero to defeat the newly revived Demon King. The court mage accidentally summoned a professional boxer to their world. <laughs> okay, it's pretty interesting. Can the hot-blooded fighter deliver the smackdown on the Demon Lord? and save the kingdom, or will the boxer be forced into permanent retirement? Hmm. Okay. It's pretty interesting, Neo. It's pretty interesting. That's a cool pitch. Definitely put my money in that comic. Oh, excuse me. My goodness gracious. What else can I do here? Uh, turn this off. Okay. Put some shadows Let's see here. Shadow like that. Okay.
Okay. Let's see how it looks. It is a lighter brown hair. And how I've illustrated how I colored them to be exact. just add some shadows to him Well, let's actually give that, make that his highlights. Oh yeah, this looks so epic, dudes. Epic. All right. All right. So we got. Hmm, okay. Ooh, okay. 
Okay, I can give him a lighter green. I need to make any highlights of this costume. I think it's fine the way it is. I'm gonna add some more shadows, give more depth.
Um, what else can I add shadows to? Turquoise. I'll just leave alone the smokes. I think now I want to like play around with lettering of Cyrus. Next, it's kind of like use this as a shadow, right? And then this to lighten up Cyrus. Do do shadow ER, which is for short for brush. Then another one. Highlight highlight BR for brush. Beautiful. Exactly what it was. Now Start making some magic. Lightly brush over this. Maybe just there we go. Then our highlight brush will just lighten it up. Line up Cyrus a bit. Okay. Now what we do next, and then I'll just do some light shadow brushing going on. And I'll do the same thing for highlights. Oops. 
Sorry about that. Have you heard my phone, dudes? Super dope. Meh. It looks good the way it looks. Because you don't want to push it.
Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry, Neil. I just looked at the chat now. Let's see, Demon King. A sword, a shield. I only need my fist to fight. <laughs> a blacksmith. Can you make me some iron gloves? Uh, hey, Ichthus, did you hear High Noon at Shalabin has finally begun production? No, I have not, Neil. I gotta look that in. I gotta look into it. It's pretty interesting, man. Um, I'm pretty confident, dude, to say I am done. I mean, I feel like there's nothing more I can add into this piece. So... Shadow brushes. We luck without the shadow brushes. Ooh, it's pretty minor. Yeah, dudes, I'm going to end the stream here. So thank you, dudes, so much for watching the stream from beginning, middle, or end. You guys ooze of excellence as always. And remember, dudes, stay excellent as always. See you guys on the next stream.